Uh, hello. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about Jitsi on NixOS. Uh, this is Cleve Higgins, and my name is Daniel Thagard. I work at Twig. Um, oh, and how does the... Ah, there we go. And so we're going to talk at a very high level, uh, give a high level overview of our work on open source video conferencing deployments and the relevance um, of NixOS for small collectives, community organizations, uh, working with very little funding and resources and people. Um, and so we were doing this work as part of Summer of Nix, which was an amazing opportunity and experience, uh, two years in a row, the first year as participants, and uh, the second year, this year, as co-project leads uh, working on Jitsi. And uh, we chose to work on Jitsi for a few reasons. Obviously, we're all using video conferencing software all the time, and having an open source, self-hosted, end-to-end encrypted uh, option for this uh, seems really valuable to us. And NLNet, uh, and their NGI Zero project, who uh, are one of the main organizers and backers of Summer of Nix, think so too. And so uh, they funded work into supporting end-to-end -end encryption for Jitsi, and as a result, packaging it on NixOS was, a, was an important priority um, for them. Um, and so Jitsi is a very, is a quite complex open source uh, tool. It has multiple, uh, server processes running together. And so um, this is a architecture diagram here. I'm not gonna go over it, but you can see there are a variety of core components. It also relies on an external XMPP server and a variety of less central components and all of these integrations with other services as well. Um, and so uh, manually deploying it is quite annoying, but on NixOS already, um, just a simple deployment of the core uh, services is trivial. We just set enable to true, basically. And this was already there, but uh, we had a chance to work on uh, more integrations and some of the things on the edges of the Jitsi ecosystem. So one of the main things that we worked on in summer of next last year as participants was uh, Packaging Jibri, yeah. <laughs> um, and so Jibri is a Jitsi broadcasting infrastructure. So this is a separate component, which someone, I believe on the NixOS IRC, concisely described as a Java app that starts Chromium in, using Xorg with Selenium and then FMPEGs into the frame uh, buffer. So it's a pretty convoluted uh, software setup. And then from there, it can, from FFmpeg, either save the recording local to the disk or uh, upload it or live stream it to something like PeerTube. And so the instructions to manually uh, do that is, pay there's pages of, of setup instructions to manually set that up. On NixOS, with it packaged as a module, it's literally one line and the whole thing is running. And so the work to actually make that quite complex module was done by Puck for NixCon 2020 for the video infra um, a few years ago. And so for Summer of Nix, we were taking that, getting it up to date, um, polishing it, getting everything working in order to then have it merged into Nix packages. So now through uh, just NixOS Nix packages, you can have that whole Jibri set up that on any other system would be very complex to get working. Uh, this year for Summer of Nix, um, there is another integration for Jitsi called Vosk. Vosk is a outside of Jitsi project that does offline speech to text, um, so closed captioning for videos. And uh, Simon Bruder, one of the participants in Summer of Nix this year, packaged all of that. It was very impressive uh, for Nix packages. There's a PR that's still open for that. It hasn't been merged yet. Um, and that allowed for having a Jitsi video conference to have uh, closed captioning. And then we took that package with Vosk, integrated it into Jitsi, and had that deployed on NixOS for the first time. Again, same with Jibri, taking something that the manual setup process for Vosk, it would be pretty complicated, and allowing that all to happen in just a, a single line of NixOS config. Um, and it, the only, it, the PR is there, but it doesn't actually work, because uh, there's an upstream issue with the integration of Vosk into Jitsi that we can't work on because of 
outstanding issues. Um, and so there's more stuff to be done to improve uh, Jitsi on NixOS. Uh, right now, like a lot of Java projects in Nix packages, actually, um, we're pulling, or Nix packages is pulling pre-built binaries instead of building from source. And because dealing with Maven is frustrating, but that would unlock uh, a lot of possibilities for patching and using experimental features. Um, supporting distribu uh, di uh, distributed deployments right now, uh, the Jitsi modules expect all of the Jitsi core components to be running on the same host, which is not necessary. Um, and unlocking additional Jitsi features like call authentication and more integrations with, it, with external services. So this, for us, this example of Jitsi on NixOS and all the things it makes possible is a really clear example of how NixOS makes it possible for smaller teams, uh, individuals, and projects that aren't well-resourced, aren't going to have their own platform teams to deploy something like Kubernetes or don't want to be or can't afford to be on public cloud services um, to do what otherwise would be pretty complex deployments in a a straightforward way. So it really empowers those smaller kind of projects to have access to the kind of technology allowing declarative system configuration that is really the, clearly the best way to be doing things without needing those higher resource, more capital intensive kind of projects to do them. Thanks.